Okay, so we are transiting hands-free across to the fishing lands. Um, this is, I'll show you here on the side. So this is a fiberglass rod. It's connected to a couple of different things and I have this sort of gauge here. So it's, I'll show you the action one a little bit later, but basically if I want to go right, I pull it forward. If I want to go left, I push it back. And if I want to roughly, it all depends on the trim and everything, but if I want to go roughly straight, I put her down in the middle. But uh, that allows me to essentially uh, steer without having to turn around. The only thing I have to turn around for now is to adjust the speed. I haven't got that sorted out, but um, so here we are. We're going to go right full rudder <laughs> and there we go. We're turning. So hopefully this will allow me to adjust trolling without having to, to mess around behind me. So that's my little 3D printed uh, thing and I'll, I'll show you the bracket. Uh, I'll attach it to the video. All right, back to fishing. So what I wanted was a way to, uh, like the Frontier comes with swivel seats, which is nice, but what I wanted was a way to be able to, um, to steer the trolling motor without having to turn around or turn sideways. Uh, I did 3D print an extension, which I'll show you, but for right now, this is kind of what I have set up is here. I've got a couple of different ports. Actually, this one has a, I took it out while I was cleaning it, but it has a screw in. These are all 3D printed at PETG, so UV resistant, um, heat resistant materials. And it's trans translucent. The whole idea is they suck up less UVs that way. So this is a fiberglass, um, it's like a signpost, I guess for, for, for uh, marking in your yard or whatever, or for snow. And all I did was I created this little piece um, this is epoxied into place, so this is permanent. This guy goes through these guides, through the first one. And I needed something that was had a little bit of flex to it. And then here, same sort of deal. This is a, uh, it's a two-part bracket. All I do, I designed it and then I split it. So it's got a bolt there and then it's bolted here, which is, which, and there's a TPU insert, which is like a flexible 3D printed material. So I can get some good squeeze so this guy doesn't go anywhere. Uh, don't get any movement. Um, the only downside, I guess, is that here there's nothing. So I just did this um, tie wrap. There's a little bit of an indent in the design to be able to keep the tie wrap in place. That just keeps this from spreading, but it doesn't matter either way. Underneath, I actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but there's a 3D printed sort of washer and it's screwed to the bottom of these pieces. So that keeps this piece from falling out. Even without that in there, it really wasn't coming out a whole bunch. But when you're in the water, you lower the trolling motor. Uh, now the, uh, this lower kind of um, tightening is all the way loose for right now. This guy comes in, just unscrew this guy a little bit, get the end of the rod all the way in. It doesn't go super far in, there you go. Tighten that down so it doesn't go anywhere. It's a nice firm grip on it. And then this control arm comes all the way out through here. If you wanted to keep one direction or one sort of angle, you could lock it into place, but keep that free for right now. And then basically what I did was, here I've got it marked right full and left full. So if you want to turn right, you pull this all the way forward and you can see the trolling motor. If you go all the way back, all the way forward, and you can steer basically with your right hand while you're fishing and you can just do a little adjustments and what i found is if you put a little bit of tension on this guy not a bunch but just a little then even as you're going along this thing sort of you don't really need this locking mechanism it'll lock in pretty good overall so that's what i have so far the only downside is then you if you do need to stop you have to you still have to turn around and turn off the motor so this is all experimental now this guy this is an adapter it's kind of a cool process. All I did was I took a picture of this control arm and it extends out on the Minn Kotas, but I took a picture of it, um, imported it as an, uh, a PNG file, and then I converted it into an SVG file, which is 3D printable. And then I basically just designed uh, this cup and it locks on. This is TPU again. So it's got a small little cup on the end. And then this actually is on there really well, fairly well as well. So then I 3D printed this. This is a, uh, a one-way uh, hinge, and it's locked in. And then, obviously, and I actually coated this with Verithane. 
So if you did want to use the trolling motor extension, just, I think I got all that. I think I might have timed out on that one recording, but that's the idea. Um, so it's all removable. You know, when you're done at the end of the day, you just unscrew this guy, pull the rod out, pull it all the way through. You know, honestly, this little locker I don't find is, is actually that useful. So I'll probably just remove that. That's one less thing to break off. But you have the two guides, which are fine. Uh, this is what I find is depends on if you're trolling, you know, left side of the vehicle, right side, uh, how the wind is, where your weight is. So, you know, it's not like that is always going to be dead center, but it's pretty close. And that's the setup. So uh, downsides. Well, obviously it's all 3D printed, so it's not. And this is just double sided taped into place. These aren't permanent. So, you know, it's never going to be as strong. This arm, I find, doesn't have any flex so far. Um, but you can see it's it's got a little bit at the at the base so it's not you know it's not a steel bracket obviously uh the other thing is if you want to raise your motor in a hurry this prevents this locking mechanism from going all the way up so what you have to do really quickly is loosen this off pull the motor up a little bit and then you can actually you know raise it up so not perfect I guess I could take this thing off. Um, not perfect, but works pretty slickly, actually. And yesterday was really nice on the water. Hope that's helpful for everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks again for, uh, for watching the video and for supporting the channel.